Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great week. Um, I know tonight is not our NSS, but I know that people are starting to work on portfolios and what have you. So I wanted to um, focus on tonight's lecture, or sorry, tonight's collab on the POE, just basically introducing you to it going through just some of the things you need to be aware of. And then in our NSS, we'll break it down in um, a lot more detail because your POE is due on the 12th so of June and our last um, collab is on the 8th. So just because they're quite close to one another, I thought it would be best to do the collab tonight, focusing on that, then our next collab as well. And then hopefully um, you'll be able to join and be able to ask questions and go through things, but then I'll also break it down again in more detail. All right. So obviously you need to be careful in terms of your uh, referencing. Please just make sure wherever applicable that there is in-text referencing and everything is in a reference list. Uh, if there are questions where there shouldn't be referencing, I will make sure I um, tell you so that you're aware like we did for your part so just uh you know don't just go ahead and just assume referencing for everything um you guys are going to be making an instagram post and things like that so obviously for those things you're not going to have a reference um yeah so just that's the referencing and then now if we go and have a look at the uh, poe itself so as i said to you guys with the part it was the first half of the um, scenario with regards to Pringles, and now we're going to carry on with Pringles. Okay, so we're going to carry on with um, the same three products, same color scheme, same everything. All right, so there should be commonality between your part and your POE submission. Okay, so just to have a look at um, this with just a little bit of detail. The first thing you're going to do, it says you have successfully informed the staff and the retailers of the new product. The next communication will be with the consumer. Before you start planning the communication to the consumer, you need to consider what we call the compositional modes when writing messages for digital and social media. So what you're going to do, it says, discuss each of the nine compositional modes and clearly indicate how each would apply to the digital communication of Pringles with the release of their new flavors. All right. So for this particular um, question, it is full theory. So you are going to be um, you're going to be using in-text referencing as well as um, application. So you're going to be talking about these compositional modes. And with this, you're going to be giving me the theory about the comp uh, the compositional mode and then apply it to Pringles. Give the next mode, apply it to Pringles. So the idea is through the whole thing that you are going to you in-text reference the content from the textbook on this, and then you will go and apply it to the Pringles scenario. Okay. So if we look at the compositional modes, just so that you know where it is in the textbook. Okay. It is on page, sorry, I'm just pulling up the textbook for myself. It's page 231 of the textbook. Okay. I know I did talk about this in um, a previous collab, but I'm just wanting to put this all together so we're all on the same page and it's all in one recording for you. All right. So just give me the compositional mode. So for example, conversations, you would give me the theory about it as it is from the textbook, and then you'd apply it to the case study of, of Pringles. Next is comments and critiques, give me the theory and then apply it to Pringles. Your application is going to obviously be made up by you, how you think you would use those compositional modes in the given scenario. It must be no more than 800 words, so you're looking at about 80 words per compositional mode if we um, uh, break it down evenly. So if you want to in split hairs, you're looking at 88 words. So yeah, if you add for about 80 words for each of the modes, making sure balance of theory as well as application. Okay. 
So that is for 20 marks. So this one is very straightforward. It's no hectic depth or um, detail or anything. Simple theory followed by simple application. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to create a social media strategy to communicate the new flavors to the customers by using the following format. Why, who, what, how, when, and where. So why is um, this campaign being created? Who is the intended audience? What are you trying to sell? How are you going about it? Where are you going to be launching these things? And when, okay? So the date. So it's very straightforward using those five W's and H. And when you are doing this, you are thinking about creating a social media strategy that is reaching the audience. So you're not writing for um, the company or anything. It's about um, what you are doing in terms of reaching the customer. So when you're using this particular structure, um, the why is the setting and, um, you know, why is this even happening? So, you know, Pringles are wanting, to, uh, we're going to be launching this new flavor that brings in the taste of Asia. Um, and then going forward to the who, um, and then going to the um, what, so it, just through it, um, if you look on page 261, you'll see the details there. Um, that just gives you the nice infographic um, that breaks down each element of the who, what, when, where, why, and how. And what's important here is um, making sure that you are finding, again, a balance of theory and um, practical. So the why stating, so again, you'd in-text reference this, explaining what the why is, and then explaining how you'd be communicating this to the audience. Then the next, you give the theory on the who, and then how you relating this to the audience, the what, the how, the where, the when. So same structure as section A, um, follow through with that with section B. So the application aspects of it won't have referencing, but the theory explaining each of the stages will be referenced. Okay. Let's move on to section C. Okay, for this, you are going to be creating visual media. So you're going to create an Instagram post to introduce the new, the three new Pringles flavors to customers. Your post must consist of a, a visual to present the new flavors to the customers and encourage them to try the new products you need to invent um, with the specific details. So guys, you are making a Instagram post as you would see it in real life. So you need to make a mock, um, Instagram post. So you can go and create an Instagram account, or you can just, um, use yours, um, for the sake of just this exercise. Um, or you can make it all in word, just make it look exactly like an Instagram post where you have, um, the logo of the company present, the graphic that you are, sorry guys, <clears throat> sorry, my th I, was about, I didn't want to cough in your ears, the um, image that you want to use, or if you want to make a little video or something, it all needs to be present. You need to think about the hashtags. You need to think about the description. You need to think about the use of emojis, but it's got to look real. It's got to look like an Instagram post. So it is easier to make a fake account and then just close it as soon as you've taken a screenshot of the post and um, go about that way. But if you don't want to do that, like I said, you are able to mimic the whole Instagram post in Word, just make sure that you go and look at Instagram. Even if you don't use Instagram, just go and look at it. Look at the very various items that are needed in an Instagram post to make it legit. Then the last question for 40 marks. Okay. You're going to write a persuasive message. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Suddenly thought there was more than section D, but it is, this is the last one. You're going to write a persuasive message 
designed to convince customers to try the new Pringles flavors. This message will appear on the front page of the Pringles website as an announcement. Okay, so they are outlining that it is going onto a website. So it is important to make sure that you actually mimic what a website looks like, what the Pringles website looks like. Okay, so it says you'll make two attempts, first draft and then the revised drafts at writing the persuasive messages. You need to invent the specific details. So exactly like you did for um, your part submission. So the first thing you're going to do is plan the message. So you will write a first draft by implementing the three step process of writing a persuasive message. So you write your first draft and include all your markups to show how you have considered the aspects of planning and writing a persuasive message. Remember, I want to see deliberate mistakes that you are going to correct. You will then revise the message and then you will put the message on your faked um, web page. So I'm just going to share my screen with screen with you. So here you can see the Pringles website. So here once you pop the fun don't stop. So this is the SA Pringles website. At the moment it doesn't have anything more than this. Okay. Um, but so this is where your page would come up. So it is important to what I would recommend doing is take a screenshot of their front page. Okay. And then from here, you can use um, their formatting and what have you, because they've now changed the site. It used to be, used to be able to click on things, but they don't seem to have that anymore. So Otherwise, you can create um, a layout that looks like a Pringles website. So in our NSS, I will do that in more detail for you. But I'm just explaining to you that your draft will be like a normal word draft. And then your final needs to be presented on a web page. So it's well, it's got to look like a web page in your Word document. So the idea is that by the end of it, it should look like something as it would go to print. So what I will do, like I said, in our MSS, I'll show you exactly how to design it, um, how to make it look good, what I'm, what I'm meaning and what I'm expecting, so that you're able to do that yourself um, in the few days leading up to the final submission of your POE. All right, guys, and that is the POE in its entirety. Like I said, in our NSS, our next collab, I will make sure to go through it in um, a lot more deep detail and just break down the intricacies of what I'm expecting for the PRE. Thanks guys, I uh, hope to see you soon.